Happy Juneteenth. What today means to me is a victory for black people, a victory for future America, with the celebration of the full freemen of slaves in this country. I think about my ancestors today, our ancestors as black people who fought, who died, who bled, and the people who cried for us to get here and have the freedom that we deserve. And so I think about them today and I'm thankful for the ones who sacrificed so much so that we can have what we have. But make no mistake, we must keep pushing, keep progressing and fighting until all people can have the freedom that they deserve in this country. But on today, we celebrate it. Happy Juneteenth. Juneteenth marked the beginning of a new life for those who were enslaved in Texas several years ago. Today, we get to celebrate all across the U.S. in honor of that occasion. Juneteenth means more to me this year than the years before. This is a time for us to educate others and celebrate the emancipation of the remaining African-American slaves. As we celebrate today, let us remember the strides we have taken, but never forget the work that is to be done. Happy Juneteenth. Because of coronavirus, we're unable to come together on this day of celebration. June 19th, 1865 marked the formal end of slavery, but we can see that there's still so much work to be done. Today, celebrate Black Independence Day. Not only because of its importance, but in the realization that without it, we can't move closer towards interdependence, towards rich, enduring relationships. It's crucial that we celebrate this day in recognition of our Black brothers and sisters and moving towards a new and more equal world where we're all celebrated. Happy Juneteenth. Growing up in Texas, I have always been aware of Juneteenth, which celebrates the end of chattel slavery in the U.S. While President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, enslaved black people did not find out about their freedom from physical bondage until June 19, 1865. With the worldwide awakening and recognition of the horrible effects that racism has had and continues to have on American life, I can't help but to think about the lives my ancestors lived as enslaved humans. The struggles and horrors they face on a daily basis is something we cannot fully comprehend today. I'm extremely proud of the enormous contributions made by them. Their physical labor literally built this nation. I'm proud to be a descendant of strong people who never had the opportunity to be free themselves. I'm proud to be the descendant of strong people who lived through the Jim Crow era of the South with their dignity intact. I'm proud to be the descendant of strong people who fought for civil rights. I'm proud to embody what simple opportunity can lead to in this country. I will be celebrating Juneteenth in honor of the enslaved human beings in the U.S. with a renewed hope that the structural racism which continues to plague this country will be properly acknowledged, addressed, and rectified within my lifetime. Growing up, I always thought the 4th of July was a holiday to signify freedom. As I've gotten the chance to educate myself and involve myself more in the Black community, being a Black woman, Juneteenth holds a lot more meaning to my heart than it did back then. Juneteenth to me means the abolishment of slavery and also a holiday that resembles how far we've came and how far we have yet to come. It's about celebrating the freedom of Black people. It shows us that we can address the issue that's at hand. It shows us that the pain from yesterday won't last today. It shows us that we know the problem is, that's at hand. It shows us that we can move forward as one and become united, and that we can become America strong. So on January 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln declared slaves free. The word didn't spread all over um, due to the Civil War. Um, it wasn't until June 19th, 1865, that slaves in Texas received the news that they were free. To me, Juneteenth means that although there has been great strides over time towards racial equality, you know, the roots of racial discrimination have not fully been eliminated. Juneteenth is honestly just a reminder that now, just like for the free slaves who are not told of their freedom, that the fight for racial equality still continues. What Juneteenth means to me is the day that Black people received our first fighting chance in this country. Uh, I didn't hear about Juneteenth until I was 17 years old. And when I learned about this holiday, I realized that Black history and Black voices are still being suppressed in this country. So not only is Juneteenth a day of pride, but it is also a day of recognition that we as Black people are still fighting for true freedom and true equality in this country. 
what Juneteenth means to me. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration honoring the end of slavery in the United States. Uh, it celebrates the liberation and emancipation of black people and forces us to confront the promises of freedom and equality that have yet to be fully recognized by our country. Uh, you know, the history we teach in schools now is largely insufficient in terms of black and indigenous history. You know, we still celebrate the 4th of July as the American Independence Day, despite the fact that slaves still existed and slavery still existed at the time. Uh, it reminds black people everywhere that, you know, we are just as American as the men who brought our ancestors to this country. And we, too, have a place in this country. Uh, after nearly 400 years of oppression and slavery, we have found a way to be resilient and preserve our culture through Juneteenth. So why is it that only 47 out of 50 states and the District of Columbia recognize it as a state holiday? It still isn't recognized as a federal holiday, which I think should just put into perspective how much further we still have to go. What Juneteenth means to me. Juneteenth is the day my ancestors received their independence and started living their lives as free citizens. Juneteenth is the Black Independence Day. And to me, the real Independence Day where all men and women are created equal. Juneteenth. From up close, Juneteenth is a beautiful celebration of the day that my people were freed. It signifies the liberation from the shackles of slavery, but this isn't a time to look close. This is a time to step back and really observe. It makes me sad that this country only celebrates the 4th of July, a day that white men were freed. But in school, we are never even taught about Juneteenth. To me, Juneteenth is a reminder to keep fighting because we haven't come a long way. Black people are still being murdered on American soil for nothing more than the color of their skin. Juneteenth means a lot to me. It's a special day that makes me feel really empowered. It reminds me that my ancestors went through a lot to fight for me to be here today. It reminds me that this isn't a time to just shut up and dribble, but it's a time for us to unite, come together, and really make a change. Juneteenth is significant because it recognizes the fight for freedom, but also the end of enslavement. Through the sacrifices, um, that were made, it has broken down barriers to create more opportunities for black people. In significance of this holiday, we must also recognize those who come, those who've come before us and those who continue to work hard to represent our culture and our history. Through, through the significance of hard work and determination, there has been more representation of, of black leaders teachers, entrepreneurs, athletes, medical personnel, and advocators for change who continue to work hard to bring progression for future, for future generations. I believe I'm part of the change. I want to work hard to create more opportunities and resources for students and minorities to be heard, to be respected, and to be valued in a professional, academic, and also in the athletic and collegiate environment. Juneteenth is a symbol of how far America has come, but it is also a reminder of how far America still has to go. We should never be complacent with the results that we are currently having. We should always be motivated by the best future possible. And that means that we should always continue to work and always continue to understand one another so that we can all really matter in this one world.